What is up, guys? It is your girl, Paige. I am back again. I told you I was going to come back with a Temptations tip video, and I will not disappoint you, I hope. But um, I'm just going to give you five tips that I think are very important if you want to go to Temptations Resort in Mexico. I feel like I got lip gloss somewhere, but that's something here there. Um, these tips are really mainly for Cancun because I've never been to DR Temptations since it's opening tomorrow. And I was supposed to go in March, but we're not even going to get into that. We're not even going to go there because I'm still a little salty about that. But we will go in the future. So we're just going to backtrack and go back to this. But these are tips that if you are planning on going to Temptations Cancun, you should follow these. They will just make your trip a little bit easier because me, I did months and months and months of research on this resort. So I'm just going to try to alleviate that for you and let you just watch this video and then maybe that will help you but also doing your research and watching other youtubers is great because that's how i learned the ins and outs of the resort um number one that i'm gonna say this is not a tip but it is a sidebar i did not say it in my last temptation video that you cannot record or take pictures at this resort in certain places so like you can't go in the, in the sexy pool where pretty much all the action is and take pictures and record and snapchat and do instagram reels you can't do that like you just can't um they are trying to respect a lot of people's privacies because a lot of people are topless um so they just want to make sure that you know nobody's taking pictures to put on the internet um you know outing people or anything like that trying to keep away from you know bullying or anything like that that happens in this culture so that's a big thing that a lot of people don't really realize because they you know skate by it they don't really say a lot about it on the website i found out because i watched other youtube videos and they're like i don't have that much content because i can't record and i'm like what but they won't let you record. They will literally put a sticker on the back of your phone if you try to take a picture. Now, there are areas in the lobby, the quiet pool, um, some of the restaurants, they have little selfie stations where you can take a picture there. You can obviously take pictures in your room. You can obviously take pictures when you do other things. But once you get to that sexy pool, you cannot take pictures there. And I feel like that's a vibe, to be quite honest. You're enjoying yourself and you're having a good time. So that was one of the reasons why I really like this resort because I was not forced to be on my phone and I had to put it away and actually enjoy and live in the moment. So now we'll get to the tips after I just told you that little tidbit. Number five is going to be be open-minded. You do not want to go to this resort and not be. <laughs> um, this resort is definitely different. It is a lifestyle friendly resort. It is also a topless optional resort. Um, they do a lot of takeovers which are, you know, geared into certain different demographics and cultures and different things um there is a big melting pot of different people different races ethnicities cultures so you want to be open-minded some people are a little bit different how they work with things because they are from another country um and then also the can't talk the entire resort is really a sexy vibe so even the games that they play at the game at the pool the movies that are on your TV, like they're a little risque. So you want to be open-minded. You don't want to be that guy that's like, I cannot believe here. I'm clutching my pearls. You'll be clutching them the whole time. So it's a great vibe. But if you don't, if that stuff makes you feel uncomfortable, I would probably look for another resort. Um, You want to do your research. That kind of ties in with the last tip. That's going to be our number four tip. Um, make sure that you know about the theme nights. Every single night, the Bass Tower, which is the lobby, it kind of turns into a nightclub, which is really, really cool. Um, and they have a different theme every single night. And it's really, really nice because they're not like, you know, basic generic themes. Now, granted, I wish they would change it up a little bit because I did go two times in like less than six months and they were the exact same except one was in the winter time and one was in the summer. So the foam party was like at night. It was weird, but they're definitely a vibe and definitely a good time. I would definitely recommend doing all your research with that. Um, also doing your research with just in general things that you want to do. Um, I will say that I love Temptations because it is a resort where you don't have to technically leave. You can stay at your resort the whole time. So that makes me feel a little bit safer because I'm not out in the streets of Cancun doing whatever 
but i mean sometimes i'm like i should have went downtown i don't want to hear this edm music i love the music the vibe everything is a good time but sometimes i could do without that music so there's somebody from temp hears me switch up a little bit put on some rap some trap music you know i would even take pop okay i would even take pop music but the edm all the time baby yeah come on let's let's switch it up but just do your research if you're not big on that then you probably want to find you know a club that is close to temptation that you can go and veer off to in the night because you are going to continuously hear the same music that's just one thing that I feel like was a big kind of Debbie Downer for Temptation because um, I'm hearing the same music during the day and then at night and then the next party is the same thing. I know that they're probably figuring that everybody is a fluctuation of people. Everybody's drinking. Nobody really cares. I notice those things because I'm like really, I'm always like DJ, we play this girl love song. Like I don't want to hear a love song, but still I'm always asking for a request, but that's another here or there. So you want to actually pick the right room. So that's going to be your number four. Um, dealing with the bash tower, that's one thing that I've heard a lot of other people complain about. Um, if you are in the bash tower, you are in the upgraded rooms, but it is loud. They are partying till 6 a.m. You hear everything that's going on outside. So if you're like me, who wants to get some sleep? I would pick to go get a room near the trendy garden and by the quiet pool. Um, and also, like, if you've seen my last video and you've seen how I got that beautiful jacuzzi room, thinking I was that, and I was baking like a big fish rotisserie chicken in that jacuzzi, you know, I could have did my research a little bit better and I could have picked the right room. I could have paid less and got the playful experience and wouldn't even have to worry about the jacuzzi and all that. But that's neither here or there. Just make sure that you are researching your rooms because Temptation is not a cheap resort at all. At all. They use that lifestyle to, to, to make the ticket price a little bit higher. Is it worth it? A thousand percent. But it is not a cheap resort. So you want to make sure that you are getting the most bang for your buck. You don't want to be going somewhere where, you know, you aren't in the room all the time, but you're paying so much money for this elaborate room. I really don't understand people that get like the penthouse suites and stuff like that. I get it if you're bringing with a group of people or something, but you're out of the room most of the time. Like if it's not a swim up, please. That's another here or there. But that brings me to tip number two. Remember that you are at an all-inclusive resort. If you want two entrees, order it. If you want five drinks, order it. If you want two coffees, order it. You paid for all of that. All of it. So you can get as much as you want. Make sure you tip accordingly, though. Don't be greedy and ordering all this stuff, having your wait waiter or waitress running back and forth, and you're not tipping. So make sure that you do that. But other than that, order, baby. <laughs> order up. They got plenty of things. If they have a buffet, you can keep eating that. But then when you go to the a la carte restaurants, like <laughs> you can keep ordering. The first time I went, I didn't know that. I just was like... Oh, let me get an appetizer, a dessert, and, you know, an entree, whatever. Give me my drink. The second time I went with my other best friend, child, we was ordering everything. Like, give me two appetizers, give me two entrees, give me this, give me that. And they was like, y'all about to eat all that? Yeah, we are. And we did. We was a little sick, but that's not a here or there, too. So, remember that you are an all-inclusive. You paid for the amenities. Use them. Especially if you do upgrade to that playful experience. When you check in, say, what do I get with this playful experience? When you put that band on and they say that you are upgraded, say, what do I get with this? Because we had to go and ask a couple times, but we used everything that we needed because we paid for that. All right, and the number one rule to go to Temptations and traveling in general is you want to make sure that you bring the right people. You do not want to go somewhere and you have somebody that is not having a good time because they're a prude or they don't like the atmosphere and they spend all their money and now they're mad because they don't like the atmosphere and you're mad because they're mad or you just don't want to be somewhere where somebody doesn't legitly have your back. Especially when you're out of the country, there's a lot of stories going along where friends are hurting their friends out of the country and you don't want to have to deal with that one thing that i think that i'm so blessed about is anytime i'm ready to take a trip 
me and my friends are like, hey, let's go. And guess what? We know a thousand percent. We got each other's back. We're there. We're beside each other. There is no leaving. There is no dipping off. None of that. So you want to make sure you have people that are doing that. Yes, you can live your life. Yes, you can meet other people. Yes, you can go out and do whatever. But whenever you travel and you want to have a good time, part of having a good time is having the security that you know the people you came with are people you're going home with and you know you can plan another trip with them. Um, I see so many times where people are like, that trip to Miami. <laughs> That child, that trip to Miami because you went with the wrong people. It's okay. We all made that mistake. I have to. But it's just a, a big rule to me. And I feel like it's a big rule in traveling in general. I know this is about Temptation Resort. But always, 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 always make sure that you're going with some people that are definitely going to ride for you, people that are definitely going to be there, have your back. If your card isn't working because you're out of the country and you need 20 bucks, you got somebody that's going to give you 20 bucks. You got somebody that don't have a problem with splitting an Uber if you got to go somewhere. You got somebody that, you know, is on the same page as you. Like, hey, I really am tired. We turned up all day. I could go lay down. Yeah, I'm going to go lay down too or, you know, I'm going to go out for a little bit. I'll text you, keep you posted, whatever. You know, you don't have to be a prude. If somebody else doesn't like doing something, you can obviously let your friends go and do whatever they want to do. But make sure when you book that trip and you're booking your people that you're going with, make sure that you are your people. You do not want to go somewhere with somebody that doesn't have your best interests and then you're spending all this money because traveling costs some money. You want to have a good time. So those are my top five rules, tips, I guess, for Temptation Resorts. Um, I'm going to probably make another video. I don't know if it's going to be a temp. I'm debating on if I'm going to drop some more footage because I do have some more that I didn't post in my last video. But um, it really doesn't have anything to do with what I just talked about. So I'm like, I'm going back and forth about that. But you might see footage, you might not. But if not, the next time you should see me, I should be unboxing my beige luggage. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm literally sitting here by the window because one is supposed to be delivered today by 3 p.m. And it is 4.06 and it's still not here. But once I get them, child, y'all know, y'all will know. But make sure you like and you subscribe. Tell everybody about me. I'm trying to get my followers, trying to get my subscribers, trying to get my likes up. So help a girl out and I will see you in the next video. Y'all, so I just realized I said four in the tips twice, but there's five tips. Don't come for me. I'm learning. These are the theme nights I was talking about. Um, you want to make sure you go on the website beforehand. Check out what the themes are for the days you're going to be there. Again, tip your bartenders, tip your waiters. They are trying to give you a great experience and the drinks are fantastic. This is a salmon chow. I got like three of them. Really, as many as you want, they're good.